the space of the box. I have a thing in my hands, but... All right. Ian. Yes. Challenge for Ian. You, if you go to Japan with 1,000 Canadian dollars, how would you spend your time? <laughs> One well, thousand? Yeah, there, there, there's a quick answer and a, and a short answer. How many Cooper? Uh, Wait, hang on. <laughs> well, if they're <laughs> well, they give it, give them both to us. This one takes very long. Yeah, one takes. Yeah, they, both they don't allow foreigners. <laughs> Actually, really, they're, they're 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 both the same location. If I've got a thousand bucks and I'm going to Japan, I'm taking that train directly to Akihabara. And the mm. question is, do I go and collect many tiny things, or do I just get that big die cast? Three foot tall Macross SDF one that I've wanted so badly. <laughs> oh, tough call. Yeah. I think you do the second. I think you get the Gundam. <laughs> the, the Gundam. The Gundam. The Gundam. The Gundam. Yes. You get the Gundam. Huh. Easy. I just heard somebody open Pokemon Go and I had a visceral reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the hostile prices. There's no squirrels in here. You could you could probably take a fair stab at like a couple days in Kyoto. Mm -hmm. Probably. I the first like time we, Kathleen and I walked for like 22 kilometers, and by the end of that day, we were, we saw this m majestic, astonishing temple, and we were like, okay, because we'd seen like 20 others that day. We were just mm. like, oh, look at these gates; they're enormous. Yeah. Well, they were carved out of a complete cypress. Cool. Yeah. I don't. Well, I have to sit down. I'm gonna yeah, it was like, yeah. I don't care. I just don't care anymore. Yeah, you, do, you just get that tourist overwhelm thing yeah. where, like, I know this is impressive. I know I should be appreciating I've it. Seen I feel kind of guilty. Three UNESCO sites today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just, I just want to lie down. Yeah. I just want a McDonald's. <laughs> Conversely, uh, I have to take, the, I take the train to. Okay, okay. It's, it's a uh, Hamburg steak. Nice. Ooh. It's Yeah, with, to get a, you can get yeah. a, a ground beef patty. On a plate. They, do they do they, chicken they, nuggets? It's a hamburg steak. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, Everybody beef, focuses on the burger thing. No, beef is the least eaten of the yeah. three ma major meats in Japan. Yeah. Right? Of the, if you exclude fish. They, they what eat, are the other two meats? Right? I'm just saying, they eat lots and lots and lots and lots of pork. meats. And then some amount of chicken, and then way down is like, and, and beef. They don't not eat beef, but not yeah, nearly to the extent right. that North America does. It's, it's a special occasion meat, usually. Yeah. Uh, my fo my folks discovered upon moving to Australia that uh, like Christmas turkey is not really a thing there. It's apparently Christmas ham. Yeah. Mm. You know, so are you familiar with the traditions of Christmas in Japan? Uh, yeah. Some of them. I'm I'm familiar with the ones involving KFC. So mm. and, see, that's the thing is declarations of love. Christianity is like I think on the census it's like one point three percent of the population yeah. identify as Christian. It's not a big thing, and so Christmas is a young couple's holiday where yep. you and your significant other go to KFC. Mm -hmm. Because oh, you bring the KFC home. Well, you bring the, or you bring the KFC home, but you literally can't get a seat at a KFC Which, on Christmas because it's like Christmas turkey, right? Yeah. But they don't really do that in Japan. So I was like, okay, well, turkey does fowl, I guess, so chicken, uh, chicken so yeah, I guess we'll just get KFC. Well, yeah. Okay, that's that's Christmas. Sure. Well, you know, we'll do KFC. It's great. So I the one KFC see this, or are they just incredibly happy with how this? Oh, they out? lean into it. Yeah, they 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 they've, they've definitely leaned into it. Yeah, they, they, okay. they, made, I, they, they pr initially promoted it. This is like in the last forty years uh, they started this. Some, sometimes we do ham and can, generally yeah, ham g can be a thing here. Generally, Canada goes with the more UK tradition, so it's like it's generally turkey. But like with most media and culture from the U.S., it bleeds north a bit, so Christmas ham can be a thing. Here's the real question, Ian, for the anime thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen so many animes where, like, a couple, there's the romantic, like, uh, a Christmas episode. Like, there are a number of animes that, like, culminate in that. Uh, has there ever been one that actually legitimately licensed KFC so that they can use KFC in the episode? Because I've never seen that. I don't like, think that I've ever seen a Christmas episode that licenses KFC. Okay. But... I know that some I, I, have used KFC okay. inside. I, I do just want to point out that, I, yeah, yeah I cut you off, please. This is a thing that they do. They will dress up. But most KFCs in Japan have a Colonel Sanders figurine yeah. that sits outside, and they'll dress him up in the uh, in Christmas clothes. The one time oh, I tried a picture. Uh, Colonel to get Sanders. Thank you, Freshman. Colonel oh. Sanders. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 And well, yeah. Good job. Good <laughs> job. You're welcome, Japan. You're going to have to just run with that. Uh, One time I tried to get a uh, Christmas meal. They sell out. Oh, yeah. They sell out of chicken on Christmas. 
It's still out of their main thing. Yeah. Before we move on, while we're still on the topic of Japan, we have an acceptance challenge here to ask Ian what he thought of the new cutie honey. Wow. Yeah, well, I believe we talked about the uh, the new cutie honey on our episode of Anno Annie, which you can find on WinningRingRun.com. Great. Ah. Close that. <laughs> but <laughs> boom, done. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Continue. It was it was would great. You, would it, you like to drop this for it? Really? <laughs> 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 Cold as Please don't drop it. Three ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was fantastic. You should all check it out. Though I definitely preferred the Gynex uh, cutie honey that was made from two thousand. Was the was the clip that we did at Dubfight and Chuck's? Was that from the new one? That was from the 2003 Gynex one. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. The most recent one was more uh, computer animated, but still okay. fun. I think the 2003 one was the first one that I saw at the tender age of 12. Oh, I no. feel like <laughs> I should have seen that when I was 12. We, eh. I have two different challenges here.